Hello, my name is Chen Hong, a great student from Hefei University of Technology, China. I'm so honored to have the opportunity to present this presentation at the online conference of EI Manami 2021. This paper I will be presenting today is titled Deep Reinforcement Learning Based Resource Allocation for Fifth Generation Machine Type Communication in Active Distribution Networks. My presentation is in four parts. In the first part, I will introduce the motivation of this paper. In Smart Grid, Active Distribution Network is abbreviated as ADN, which can be defined as a highly integrated, fully interconnected and communication-reliable electric system. Its purpose to, is to solve the problem of greater compatibility and renewable resource consumption. This feature describes the structure of ADN. An ADN has two key builder in blocks. One is massive information connection, and another is effective monitoring and accurate diagnosis. Therefore, in order to collect multi-source data in real time, advanced monitoring infrastructure in ADN contains a large number of smart meters. In the AMI application of ADN, massive smart meters equipped with multiple sensors will produce a large number of concurrent messages in the uplink channel. Therefore, it is very important to choose the underlying communication technology to support the extensive and timely information exchange in the distribution network. In this case, the newly launched Fifth generation communication under the third generation partnership project standard is expected to support two new communication services. One is the massive machine type communication, which aims to further enhance equipment connectivity through performance assurance, and another is ultra reliable no latency communication aimed at reliable processing of machine critical links. The application of AMI challenges the design of an efficient wireless resource allocation algorithm for machine communication in fifth generation network. The difficulty in achieving the best wireless resource allocation chain including the follow two points. Foster a large number of smart meters in ADN, maker shading and bandwidth resource allocation inherent difficult. In addition, the accuracy of a system failure, power quality, faculate, and other emergency is rendered. Although ADN can use smart meter to record and transmit emergency data such as voltage dips, how to quickly uh, allocate results for emergency data and ensure the reliability of emergency data transmission to meter data management system has become a challenge. Therefore, we propose a fifth generation uplink data retransmission chain, which determines the retransmission time of emergency data according to the present transmission outage probability, and then using the deep reinforcement learning algorithm to quickly allocate the resources for the data collected by the smart mentor to reduce the transmission delay. Next, I will introduce the modern and the and the algorithm of this research in detail. The second part, I will introduce the system model and the problem formulation, which is the most important part of re this research. First, we made some reasonable assumptions about this research. We consider a general thing of AMI system in ADNZ consists of only one next generation loader B and a number of uh, smart mentors within the coverage area of one gen B. Each smart mentor is equipped with a different type of sensors, which can sample data at different fixed intervals. When some four 
occurs in the ADN, we assume that the sampling data can then be divided into, into two categories, normal sampling data and emergency sampling data. Obviously, it is reasonable to assume that each emergency data packet size is also constant because the flow type is only a flex code in transmission. This is the network architecture of our research. It is mainly composed of N smart meters equipped with K sensors, a fifth generation base station, and a mentor data management system. Once the sensor detects an emergency fault, our machine calculates the retransmission times of the emergency data according to the real time external interference and using the deep reinforcement learning algorithm to uh, allocate the results for the normal sampling data and the emergency sampling data to be retransmitted. In the fifth generation network, the wear list results are distributed in both time and frequency domains. As shown in future, is the frame structure and the resource blocks in fifth generation network. Well, a fault occurs in order to improve the reliability of emergency data transmission and reduce the transmission outage probability as much as possible. We plan to determine the number of emergency data retransmission according to external interference. First, we discussed how to determine the number of emergency data retransmissions. We first determine the average signal-to-noise ratio according to the interference variance and, the, and then determine the number of emergency data retransmission according to the calculator average signal-to-noise ratio and the present transmission outage probability trend. Next is the formula establishment of the model. Our objective function is to maximize the energy efficiency of all smart meters, where energy efficiency is defined as a ratio of all transmitted data packets to the power consumed on all resource blocks. Among them, M is the modulation and the coding chain selection, T is the time slot selection, X is the binary optimization variable to be solved. The constraints are as follows. Constraint 2 is the power control model based on 5th generation network uplink channel, in which P is the allocated power consumption, IoT is the tremor interference, SINR is the signal-to-noise ratio requirement of modulation and coding chain selection. Control 3 indicates that the power consumption on the allocated resource block counter executes the maximum transmit the power of each smart meter. Constraint 4 means that the resource blocks allocated in each time slot counter execute Y, where Y is the total number of resource blocks in each time slot. Constraint 5 indicates that each data packet can only have one modulation and coding shame selection and transmit in a single slot. Next part is the deep reinforcement learning based problem reformulation. To solve the, our problem, we propose a shading resource allocation or algorithm based on a point network. The basis of the point network is the SEC to SEC framework. SEC to SEC is an encoder decoder structure network. The encoder transforms a variable length singular sequence into a fixed length vector expression. The decoder transforms the fixed length vector into a variable length target signal sequence. And the conditional probabilities of the output sequence, here x is the input sequence, y is output sequence. The resource allocation problem is also a mapping problem and it requires that the input sequence and output sequence of the point network are exactly identical. Therefore, we add an attention mechanism to seek to seek to form a new point network structure. In the decoding process, 
for reducing the time complexity of the decoding truncation and improving the accuracy, we are using the beam search method to de decode. In each step of the decoding stage, according to the probability distribution calculated by softmarks, we reserve the top edge optimal sequences. A larger edge corresponds to a higher calculation cost, but the relative accuracy also improves. The decoding process is described in the algorithm 1. Considering the proposed dynamic program problem of resource allocation in this paper, we combine the reinforcement learning with a deep lateral network and a proposed lateral compilation optimizer model. The input to the model is the three-dimensional parameter screens, which encode data packet size, emergency data retransmission times, and determines from eyes smart mentors to GNB. The output of the model includes strategy pi and the corresponding state value r. The objective function of the problem is transformed into the value function in the deep reinforcement learning mode. The resource allocation algorithm framework as shown in future foster sampling data Containing interference signals are sampled at time t, and these data are sent to the fifth generation network by smart mentors. The number of retransmission of emergency data is determined by interference. Finally, the number of the emergency data retransmission, pack size, and the distance between smart mentor and GNB are taken as the the input of the point network in deep reinforcement learning model and the maximum energy efficiency is the objective function. Through the training of the samples, the output of the point network is the result of resource allocation. This part is the performance evaluation of the system. This is the simulation parameters. Table 1 is the different configuration of the fifth generation network system bandwidth and sub carrier interval. Detailed parameters for simulation are listed in Table 2, and the Table 3 shows the different code rates and the signal-to-noise ratio ranges corresponding to the 16 modulation and coding shape. Next is the performance analysis of the simulation. To evaluate our proposed algorithm, we compared the experimental result of our proposed method and the two other methods the optimal language multiply method and the greedy algorithm. This feature shows energy efficiency on the different smart mental numbers. As the objective function of the problem, our method is obviously better than that of the greedy algorithm. In addition, it can be noted that the energy efficiency obtained by the optimal language algorithm is slightly higher than us. It shows that correctness of our algorithm. At the same time, this is understandable. Because the point network in our model needs to be trained through a large number of samples, and the insufficient number of training samples will also reduce the target value. This feature shows that it compares the energy efficiency of the optimal language multiply method. Enforcement learning algorithm and the greedy algorithm when the number of the smart mentor is different and the number of the packets is, fi is fixed. The results show that uh, with the increase of the interference, the energy efficiency of the three algorithms shows a downward trend, but the decline speed of the deep reinforcement learning is lower than that of the other two algorithms. When the external interference NESQ3, the energy efficiency of the deep reinforcement learning algorithm greater than that of the based language algorithm, which shows that the deep reinforcement learning algorithm in this paper has strong anti-interference ability. The picture on the left shows the target value changes of multi-round training for the same dataset under different bench training size. The results shows that 
for large bench training size, the convergence of the point network is better. The training time is shorter and the optimal value can be more quickly calculated. The feature on the right shows the changes in training target value of the same dataset on the different learning rate. The results show that at a higher learning rate, the convergence is better, but the computational stability is worse. A smaller learning rate corresponding to a better computational stability at a slower convergence rate. Well, that about it for now. In this paper, we propose a data retransmission shape and using a deep reinforcement learning method for resource allocation. First, by increasing the number of retransmission of emergency data generated by emergencies. The impact of external interference on the transmission interruption is eliminated to improve the transmission reliable. Then, with massive and real-time data, the fifth generation uplink resource allocation is modeled as a dynamic programming problem to maximize the energy efficiency. And the deep reinforcement learning method is used to solve the problem to improve the calculation speed and reduce the transmission delay. Finally, that's, that's all my presentation. Thank you for your patience.